Jared Lindsay here, and today we are in downtown Davison, continuing our small downtown series. Now the city of Davison, or downtown Davison, is located on M15, which is about 20 to 15 miles north of Ortonville, which we filmed a few videos ago. So we're kind of trying to move all the way up M15 and do all the towns along the way. And it we are going to start our tour off of Davison, Michigan, right here in front of the Davison Historical Museum, or History Museum. And I believe this little veterinarian building is part of the museum. It's not an actual working vet. Let's go see what time the hours are. It's closed. I don't know what time the hours are. They've got painter's tape over it. The old hours look like it was Thursday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So, I don't know. Is it doing renovations? Maybe. Maybe you have to make an appointment. Or well, it does say or by appointment, so maybe it's just what you have to do now full time. Yeah. You can only do it by appointment. <laughs> maybe. It's really cute. I'd love to see it, but what I really would like to get into is that. I'm curious what the little veterinarian office looks like. And right next to the historic museum, we have the city hall, the police station, and there's also some kind of a small court inside that building. And then this building right here, and I'll get a better look at it, the front of it in a minute, is the Davison Public Library. Look at the front of the library. As you can see, they're starting to get buds on the trees here. Probably be another few weeks before we start to see any leaves on most of these. It's still quite cold around here. And now we're about to head into the downtown area of Davison. But I do want to show over here, this is the main road. This is M15. We filmed a couple towns along M15 already, Ortonville and Clarkston. And I just wanted to point that out because M15 doesn't actually run through Davison. It's, I love this sculpture or art creation. It's really cool to do to the wheelbarrow. Look at that little dog, Lindsay. You know, the spring. Yeah. I don't know if somebody just threw those rocks in there or... <laughs> So the first shop we come to is Pleasure Island Gift Shop Antiques and Jewelry. It's only open a couple days a week with very limited hours. And it looks like it's in a home, which I mean, it's, it's a shop. I don't think anybody lives here. I kind of like it when they make shops in like residential places. You know what I mean? It's kind of neat. I do too, because I like to see what they do with it. They're yeah. really creative. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's Friday and Saturday, 10 to 3, you can find out. So the city of Davison has around 5,000 people that live in it, and Davison Township is right next to the city of Davison. It just seems like one big area. There's about 20,000 people that live in the township. So we have a cell phone repair shop here, but more importantly, we have the home bakery. Now I have gotten donuts from here uh, many times over the years, and I have to say, this is absolutely the best bakery as far as donuts. I've, I've ever been to that have the best cream sticks and apple fritters for sure. And I think Lindsay's actually gonna go in there and get a cookie. Oh yes. <laughs> That's what she's telling me. <laughs> I am standing directly across the street from the Davidson Home Bakery because I wanted to show you this. Over here on this side, there's a coffee shop called Dougie's Coffee, but there's something interesting about it. It is a coffee shop and ax throwing, which I think are two interesting business pairings take a look inside it's closed I don't see any axe throwing but I do like the look of that coffee shop Lindsay's done getting her cookies we'll take a look at those in a minute next to the bakery is a salon and a palace jewelers oh there's a jewelry store down here uh, no well they're closed <laughs> I have a feeling this so far what I've kind of noticed is other than the bakery things seem to Close a little bit early around here. I found a little alleyway to eat our cookies in. Take a look back here. There's a vacuum cleaner repair store here. And here's the palace jewelry. See, they got a K cup with some donut shop coffee. That looks oh, hey. interesting. Maybe you could get a free coffee if you go to buy a ring. So Lindsay tells me these are the best cookies. She says I've had it before. I disagree with her. I didn't get you the same <laughs> kind. I got you a Reese's cookie. Oh, that does look really good. So the Davison Home Bakery has the best donuts I've ever had, so I got a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this thing. <laughs> that does look delicious. What'd you get? 
I got the date filled cookie. This is my favorite. Oh, nice. Well, that is full of dates, huh? Mm -hmm. Or date paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. We're going to continue this way right next to that is a Davison vacuum. Huh. I didn't know they still had vacuum repair places. That's interesting. They have a funny little picture in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on, we have a coin shop. So this entire shop is dedicated to coins, huh? Interesting. So if you are a coin collector, I don't see too many coin shops, so this might be of high interest to you yeah. here in Davison, Michigan. I love this little setup on the corner with the bench and the mailbox. It's a really cool tree. I cannot remember what type of tree that is, but whatever it is, it's very strong smelling. I can smell it all the way from over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone up this side of the road. And real quick, I wanna just show this. Over here, we have the Secretary of State. But next to that is the Agitated Grape, which I think is an adorable name. And it appears to be either wine tasting or a bar. But it looks pretty cool. I really like their little lights. But really, it's the name that <laughs> I think that's an adorable name. It's a good idea. And it's cute. They've done it really nice though. I really like how they've got the corners here on this four-way stop, Lindsay, including whatever it is <laughs> you're sitting in. I don't know if that's the intended use. But uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. It seems like something would go here. Like a giant Christmas tree. Elixir. We've seen another Elixir store in Lake Orion, I believe it was. So, I mean, must be owned by the same company, the same individual. It looks like it's got interesting clothes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Look at this little hound dog. <laughs> Continuing on, we've got another barber shop over here with, yeah, it looks like they're selling cage-free eggs. If, you wanna, if you're in this area and wanna buy some, pretty good price. And then the local hardware store, which I'm sure pretty soon we're gonna have some flowers or plants out on these display racks. And we have now come to our first gift shop boutique. I think it might actually be the only one here in Davison, if I find another one, I'll point it out. I love these kind of stores. Unfortunately, it is the evening. That's the only time we can actually make it out here to take a look at Davison. So most everything up and down the street is closed. I really wish I could go in there. I love shopping in these kind of places. Bear Soup Deli. Unfortunately, it's only open till five. This sounds really good. I would have loved to have gone in there and gotten some soup. So this is just uh, missed opportunities, right? I could have yeah. done some shopping <laughs> and then got something to eat. And then go on to the bakery for dessert. But you you did go to the bakery. Well, I gotta at least have dessert. <laughs> you had dessert, remember? It was a date-filled cookie. <laughs> Date paste. <laughs> well, we are in the home stretch of downtown Davison at this point. This is the last little piece of road or town that we need to look at. We got jump gymnastics, recreational gymnastics. I'm not gonna show Watch that because there's little kids in there doing gymnastics currently. Gloria's a bodywear boutique and dancewear. Do you think it's owned by the same place or is it a separate business? Could be. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting. And then over here we have Concept 3, which I have no idea what it is, but there's some gentlemen in there setting up musical instruments. And the Chromatic Society, which is a really cool name as well. It looks to be a nail salon or a beauty salon of some sort. And right next door to the Chromatic Society is Dirty Paws. Now, years ago, I'm a little bit familiar with this shop because they used to have the kittens in the window boxes, and it was really cute if you walked by, you could see the kittens. So they're not there anymore. And I might be misremembering it, but it seems like. The kittens were in there 24 seven. Like it wasn't just when the place was open. Well, they don't have kittens in there anymore, Lindsay, but they do have some really cool macrame. Yeah. Look at that thing. I really like that. Get one for the house. I should. And over here we have Hilton Screeners. It's a t-shirt printing place, or it's probably a oversimplification of what it is. But they do screen printing on 
close. Yeah. <laughs> Lost my. Yeah, it looks like it. I lost my words there for a minute. <laughs> That's that cookie. <laughs> That's what's doing Don't it. You blame the cookie. And then right here on this corner of town is kind of the restaurant section of Davison. You got the Davison Hotel, which I believe is a bar. Next to that is El Torito's Mexican cuisine. And then I think this is new. Is it Belva? I, think so. I believe it's Belva. I don't know if it's a bar or a restaurant. It has a bar in there for sure, but <laughs> I don't. Well, I don't know that. It could just be primarily a bar. I don't know. <laughs> and we are now leaving town. This looks like an old bus depot or train depot or something, but recently it was a coffee shop and it either went out of business or just moved but look at that i don't know what that is that looks cool i can't, I can't <laughs> see uh, i think it's a traffic light it was a, also a bookstore wasn't it or uh yeah it was kind of remember that yeah well, that's too bad it's not in business anymore it's got a cool layout look it's got some theater chairs in there i don't know if this is where you got the coffee probably where you checked out maybe Huh. Yeah, it looks like there's another room over there. I know, it's very interesting. I'm very curious as to how this business worked. Well, that's too bad that that's not around anymore. It was a really cool looking from the outside. Yeah. But that brings us to the end of downtown Davison, as you can see. There's a <laughs> church or something over there, but I don't think there's any reason to go beyond this point. So no. I'd like to thank you for joining us as we took a look at downtown Davison. We kind of came here late, which seems to be our MO, <laughs> so not much was open, <laughs> except for the bakery. <laughs> hey, that was a heck of a cookie. That was worth coming here alone. Yes. If anything, come to Davison and eat at Davison Home Bakery. It's I, I'm not kidding when I say they're the best donuts I've ever had, and I've had a lot of donuts at places. So, anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.